Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet, and we are here in the Everglades this time. Thought I'd jump in here and see if I can get some of those snakeheads over in this area. I, I believe in the last episode from last year, I picked up quite a few of them here, and I thought I'd go ahead and jump in here and get uh, enough to pay for my travel time, plus I went ahead and got some more of my uh, drunken worms from my little silver pot of gold silver pot of gold <laughs> silver pot or whatever but anyway let's see here we have put our silver bait golden tune one on here now I've been told this doesn't work quite as well as some of the others but I did go ahead and throw the Irish crayfish on there because it has improved my lure usage in the past so we'll see if it still holds true even in this location and it is 5 p.m. in afternoon we're gonna try some of these areas right around here hopefully we can get something to bite now I don't know that this spot is gonna be anywhere close to as good as the spot that uh, we saw yet the last episode but I remember I did catch him here, so we're going to take this down to about a 2 on here. I'm not sure if the lift or drop is better with this or not, but we're going to see if we can't get... Ooh, I guess the lift and drop does fine. <laughs> I think I found the spot. Yeah, I was pretty sure it was around there. Holy crap, that's a, that is a decent size one, apparently. Yeah, I think you can get them in some of the other pegs, but this is by far and away the best one. Because there's plenty of cover for them. They like that, well, that pond weed stuff right there, and then you got the lily pads on top of it, so there's plenty of cover there. There's that old wrecked boat overturned over there. That's another good place to fish by, which is why I was going to actually see if I couldn't bring it past but apparently didn't even get the chance to damn this is a big fish oh, I'm not so sure this is even a snakehead this might be bigger holy crap well the only thing that would be bigger than that snakehead might be a unique bowfin, maybe? Or maybe a Florida Gar, a unique Florida Gar. That would definitely give me a run for my money, and I'm thinking that might be what we're dealing with here. Hold on, guys, this may not be what we think it is. We'll know a little bit sooner here. We gotta get him closer in. My gosh, he just keeps taking it out. Okay. No, I believe it is one, but man, he is a fighter. Shoo, he's 
28 pounds. Did not take long to get him. I mean, I literally just cast it out there. I did notice, though, the snakeheads, they do bite better during the peaks, unlike the other event fish. Not that they won't bite on the off times, but you just, again, run the risk of getting something other than a snakehead. Let's see if we can't get... I'm always seeing a lot of movement over here, so we're going to try right here. Jesus. That is just a good spot right there. Trophy largemouth bass. There you go. Got him, him off a good lift and drop. I'll be damned, that is just the spot, man. <laughs> At least for these, for a little bit of everything, apparently. Another trophy. Damn. Well, even if I'm not getting the snakeheads, I'm getting them. I think this is just a regular one. Yep, yep, yep. Now what happens if I throw it on just to the left here? I mean to the right. A little bit further. I still think I can get something over there. Where you seeing all those ripples? That is where I caught unique large mouth bass here. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely that direction. Uh, definitely getting the snakeheads, the trophy bass. Boy, these guys are fighters. I probably could have gone up another step in my rod there. Because I've got some pretty powerful rods. Would have got him in a little faster, but this is still a lot of fun. I mean, you know. I don't think this one's nearly as big as that last one I got. Yeah, when they run around 28 or more pounds, they're kind of a pain in the butt to get in. Yeah, see, he's 27. He's just a little under that. So I think if I were able to get a nice lift and drop here and I don't get snagged, and that's the trick, not to get snagged, I think I can get another one over here. I really do. Just trying to prove it to myself here.
There we go. Got something there. It is a largemouth bass, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Well, let's throw it over here and see if there's anything going to bite off of that. That's where the where the gar to be caught. Well, I tell you what, we are, it's kind of slowed down a little bit here. I think I might switch baits here just to see if I might do better with one of these top lures. Let's see, I have, well, I still have the popper pint, and then of course I have that swim bait lucky pot. I don't think I have the stop walker with me, darn it. Yeah, I meant to pick it up and completely forgot. Now this one I have to use pretty much for the most part by itself. Did really, really well over in the Heron. Not sure about how it's going to do here, but we'll see. Yeah, you really can't beat in a heron though. That spot was amazing. Okay, nothing this time. Yeah, the heron, you pretty much just threw it out there and got, to, they just bit it. <laughs> I mean, it was just ridiculous. Let's try three notches and see if try it over here Yeah, I was getting ready to get excited because there was all kinds of movement there. Okay, there's some activity right there. Yeah, follow the activity. It's always a smart thing to do. There we go. And it is still a good lure. Definitely believe we have another one of those. Well, he's going to be a... He is going to be a butt. But I think if I keep following him enough, I might be able to get him in pretty quick. There we go. Yep. I'm betting he's a 26 pounder. Let's see here. 24 pounder. Okay, I didn't know they came that small. Still, it's 506. Do they bring more money here or something? I mean, it's possible, I guess. Well, I just have to get two more with this popper pint, and I'll have this one finished off. Yeah, let's try over here. It's a really, really good spot for bass, I know that. Yeah, something had gone for it. I saw that splash. Didn't connect.
There we go. I think we got us a... Is it a trophy again? Yep, sure is. He looked kind of big. So snakeheads and trophy bass. One thing I really like about doing this particular lure is you can so easily see the fish go after it. Well, we could, we could go ahead and do the swim bait, just give it a try for a little bit. I'm trying to remember if this was a lift and drop or if it was a stop and go on this one. I did really well with this in here in two. Let's take it down to two. Why is it only giving me a twitch? There we go. And don't... Nope, it, it is definitely a snakehead, without a doubt. Wasn't sure there for a minute. Oh yeah, this is snakehead, alright. Yeah, he was kind of, I guess it was because he was swimming towards me, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, that thing froze up there for a minute. I thought, oh, please, don't tell me the server's going down, because I have... do not want to lose this snakehead. There we go, we got him. Well, I thought I had him. There he goes. Okay, had to get his head up. A 26 pounder. I'll tell you what, guys. Let's go to the map here. I'm going to try over on this side. I'm just going to see what happens if I throw it over here towards this. This is a real good area for largemouth bass, and I kind of want. It seems like they're really being caught where the largemouth bass are located. So let's see how we do with that. I'll be damned. There's another one.
Okay, this one's a little bigger than the ones we've been catching here. I think he might be on the upper end of things, too. Let's see here. Okay, come on, swim towards me. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. Where are you going, fish? Nope, he is going to take it for some reason. He is not giving it up. Not yet, anyway. It's like I get down in the 50s and he's kind of bolted out another 30 feet. Okay, I think I got him. Yeah, I got his head up. Once you get the heads up, it's all over. 27 pounder. Yeah, the lighting right now is really good, so it might be a good chance to get a pick here. There we go. Yeah, actually the lighting is really good here. Get a little bit of a low stance there. Okay, and there we go. Snakeheads of the Everglades. I think I might try that spinnerbait golden tune again now, just to see. We'll just we'll just see. Love to complete one of these guys. <laughs> now we're definitely getting a lift and drop with this. Oh, we got something. What the hell is that? Is it a. Oh, it's a peacock. Yeah, I probably need to cast it further over on this side of things. The peacocks are bound over there. After I try here, I think I'm going to jump over to the next peg because... There is one uh, one place I'd like to try over there just to see. Ooh, I'm getting three dots there. Ah, got a follow there. <laughs> Another butterfly. Yeah, let's. Let's jump over to that other location. I want to really test this one right here. Yeah, the area I want to try is actually right over here. This used to be a great spot for getting the unique largemouth bass too. But the last time I fished for those, they had moved over to Lily Pad Channel. This is still a really good location for very large bass, though. So I thought I'd give it, a, give this a try because the snakeheads seem to be hovering in those spots. So I would have thought they hover in the bowfin spots. Does not seem. There we go. I think we got us another butterfly, yep. Well, I tell you what though, it's not bad. It's not a bad place to fish for them. Doesn't come close to comparing to Naharan River though. That's still much better. I would say this is an okay place. I think we're getting a little more cash for them here. 
but anyway that's the snakeheads of the Everglades and that's some of the good spots to go try you know basically to try for them within the next little bit here I'm gonna be able to complete all these missions but this is where our silver pot is but like I said I already got my stuff but anyway as I always say aim straight cast far and have fun and I will see you later bye bye